Hello everyone. This is the new Express I'm testing out. This is the Meteor 8700XL Plus from Konica Minolta. And it is interesting. I've had a good time trying to uh, figure out how all the settings work. And uh, I've been testing it for about two weeks now. And I've gotten some great results with it. It's been pretty nice. Sorry about the noise levels here. It's a fully active print shop. But as you can see, you come up here, you know, and you have your... Uh, you hit up. And this will open here, like so. And it's kind of weird that there's no handle, you just have to actuate it open. But the way things work inside of here, you can see your paper stack is there. And this blows air and vacuum this here, of course, blows from the side. And it rigs up into the power supply there. And when this is going, I'll activate it. You can see it'll lower down. And what it'll do is try to separate one piece of paper out of that thing. And pull it forward into the loading area here. This is a bypass tray you can use if you uh, desire to put one piece at a time through. Sometimes the foiler is a good way to do it. Uh, because when you foil an item, you print a black plate and then you bring it back and the foil sticks just to the black plate when you pass it through a second time. I'll show you guys what the foil looks like uh, here. So in effect, I don't know if you can see how shiny that is there. What happens is you pass through a black plate first and the foil adheres to that. Then you pass it again and the colors are printed on top of the foil giving you this nice design. And it's a lot nicer than having to foil the old-fashioned way with uh, making a die and cutting uh, the foil and sticking it that way. This is a really efficient method of foiling items. The way this usually works, the same old thing as always, that's the fiery rip up there. And you go and uh, pick whichever one you're using currently and the jobs file in to this window and then they, uh, you can move them up into the print window or you can have them file into the print window itself. I've been printing a lot of this job in particular, and you can see a handful of the results over here I've been saving aside. It does a nice job. I mean, overall, I've had a nice time using it, and, uh, you know, there's some double feeds here and there, things like that, but overall, I'd say that this press, you know, uh, runs as nice as you could hope for, uh, brand new, and we've been messing with it for about, you know, two weeks, a week. They've set it up for a while, and we had a little training session, but... Overall, it's easy to use, and it uh, it prints a really, really nice print. Show you guys around the foiler for a second. As you can see here, the foil is just a thin, thin layer that gets heated up. These and inside here, of course, you can see the orange. If you look in there, it's quite hot, and it'll heat up the foil and stick it to the black as it passes through there. I was making it to begin the startup process of this machine. You turn it on here at the feeder, and then back here, right up there next to the rip, turn it on again here, and then come over to the side of the foiler, turn it on there, yep, and then one more around here, right there at the stacker part. Now once everything is lit, uh, release any catches that have been twisted by people or slapped here. Turn that. Now you can go ahead and set up the, the stacker first. You hit reset. Then you hit upward, downward till it moves, upward till it moves, and then it should stay lit up there. That should leave it in auto mode. Some people do this, light up both. Then tap the top to leave it in auto mode, but that should begin to stack for you. At the foiler, turn it on, or reset it if you'd like, it's reset. Turn it on, to see the light go green. And then, when you think you're all set to go, or you're going to plan on using it, hit the run. And you begin to see everybody start moving in there, and, and you'll begin to see some warming up happen in there as well. So, uh, once you come over to the machine, it's the body here, 
hit this to on right there and then slide the door open and one more here and this should get everything ready you'll start seeing that uh, you're gonna come up in here and these will begin to do the initializing but once you're all set you can uh, come over here too and activate and see how your vacuums are doing or uh, how you're gonna fare with feed and paper give it a second and a lot unless it is in a different mode oh yeah turn it push it downward push it upward let go then you should be in auto mode there then I can do this unless of course the machine hasn't set up yet enough to do that but a lot of times hitting this will show you what you're you're getting uh, vacuum wise on your paper uh, how it might feed see if it separates a single sheet or not I'll do that in a second and as you can see it's starting to boot up and there's our main window there now that that has happened uh, it says to start the iFoil manager try that again not yet and all of that stuff is set up over here and what it'll probably have me do is restart the iFoil yeah here it goes I'll say no and I'll just restart that yes then I type in just uh, the password here and then it should uh, clear itself out but once you've done this, give it about, say, 20 minutes, you know, to find itself and uh, get everything warmed up and all that before you begin to send jobs to it. Otherwise, you may experience uh, some toner flaking. I might have an example of that over here. Yeah, here we go. This could happen to you if you start too early. And you can see a lot of it has uh, removed itself there. So don't jump right into it. Uh, but by the time it warms up, you'll get this. So everything will be back to normal. You can see the difference. Uh, these pieces actually, if you do this a little bit, you'll get it to come right off on you. So you can see that. But the diffuser just hadn't come up the temperature on that one. Anyway, guys, this machine has been wonderful to use so far. And thank you for watching. I had a good time.